My name is Tommaso Fattori, I'm part of the Italian Forum Water Movements and also part of the International Committee organizing uh, many international events including the Alternative World Water Forum. The Italian Movement used a democratic tool of participatory democracy, which is the referendum, in order to shape or reshape the uh, I mean, the Italy that we want. So they were privatizing water, uh, the European Commission and the European Central Bank were pushing uh, uh, you know, some policies in order to privatize uh, the, the, the uh, public services and uh, as Italian movement we react saying okay we have the possibility now to use an important tool of direct democracy in order to organize uh, ourselves to, to organize a big campaign uh, where the Italian uh, citizens can directly say what they think about I mean the water. Water is a commodity or water is a commons? And of course uh, the great majority of Italians uh, say very clearly that water is a commons. So you can't ob uh, oblige the privatization of the water services in Italy and uh, no one is allowed to uh, make out profits uh, from uh, water, from the water management. And of course it's a good example because uh, uh, we show to everyone that we can win because we won the referendum. So it's possible to win. If we are um, capable, if we are, if we are able to uh, set up um, uh, a, a big coalition with uh, social movements, associations, trade unions, if we are able to do that, if we, are, uh, I mean, if we, um, if we uh, have some very clear uh, objectives, we can win and we can stop uh, the market's wants, we can stop the privatization process and we can start to build another Europe, another Italy, another Europe, another I mean place where to live. Well I, I would say uh, that, the, that the real aim of this forum is, is try to make out money and profits uh, from water in general not also I mean from the management of public services but also you know the energy so dams and hydropowers or the financialization of water which is another uh, the financialization of water in general the financialization of the natural commons is another important chapter for uh, the big corporations now so uh, the, the aim is that and you know the, the official I mean I don't like to to call the official forum because it's not official it's not legitimate it's a corporate driven forum so I would say the commercial forum or the corporate driven forum uh, is a typical example of what a post democratic uh, governance is uh, because you know the corporations are inviting uh, governments the corporations are inviting public powers and they sit together uh, in a you may, in enclosed rooms deciding together the water policies at the global level but it's not a legitimate process that's the reason why in the alternative forum we we uh, we we call the United Nations General Assembly, I mean the, the democratic part of the United Nations, to organize a legitimate uh, forum, transparent, with the participation of, uh, of the citizens, with the participation of the movements, participation of the civil society, where to decide how to implement the right to water and sanitation that uh, the United Nations General Assembly has recognized uh, in 2010. So, uh, they, at, the, at the same time, we can see very clearly that the, uh, the, the commercial forum uh, is collapsing, I mean, it's dying. On the other hand, you were in the alternative forums, uh, uh, the, the social movement fighting for the recognition of right to water and sanitation are even stronger, I mean, stronger and stronger, because we, uh, we won a referendum in Italy, but also in Berlin they won a referendum. In Madrid, uh, a couple of weeks ago, they won an important referendum. Uh, uh, some countries have recognized the right to water in their constitution in South America, and in Latin America, better to say, because also in Mexico. And, uh, 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 important rain municipalizations in not only in Paris but also in some other say in Africa in Asia in, in many other parts of the world so we are winning and we are stronger than before and they are weaker than before I think that's a, 
that's very important to to know again because we have to i mean to know that they are very powerful but we are also to be aware that we are also powerful that people when people unite when people can join and organize so global huge networks can like we we did in the alternative forums we can win i think this is the the first important message uh, that is coming from the experience we work a lot also for example in istanbul in 2009 and now and again here in marseille and uh, i mean the the process is amazing because uh, you you i mean you can work together with uh, organization and people from all over the world for common goals with common principles and for common goals so i think the process itself is a very important process because it's a networking process so th this is the first i mean thing i would like to underline but uh, at, the, at the same time we are very happy um, of the uh, forum here in marseille it was attended by a lot of people more than 400 uh, 4500 people uh, I would say more than the commercial forum and uh, uh, the discussion uh, in the in the seminars in the workshop was really very interesting and uh, um, uh, as you know in Marseille now we can say officially that uh, the European network uh, for water commons uh, has born and uh, so I think it's a very 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 successful uh, event okay thank you very much you're welcome